Hello everyone and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Nightingale is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about we have to do a restart on the PC so just go over here in the start click on this particular icon Go to the power icon over here and go for the restart. So once restart is successfully done, you just need to try launching the game and we have to try play, uh, we have to continue playing the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam. So that is why we are having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on to browse. That will take you to the installation folder over here. And if you check at the top, that is this PC, local C, program for x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Nightingale. Now from here, we have to launch the game. Okay, you can launch the game or uh, you can also navigate to the installation folders over here one by one. So. Uh, you can also go in this way or if you go to these kind of folders as well you will be able to see few more for example like you know uh, programs and all you can see many more options like this but that is fine you can just go back and go to the binaries go to uh, over here go to win64 now from here you can launch the game not this one okay the game is here just launch the game from here so once after launch the game from here, which means launch the game from the installation folder, which worked for many users in the past, just launch the game and you have to check whether the issue is solved or not. Still, if it's not working and you're having the trouble, we have to move to the next two steps, which can be done from here. Then we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So for running the game in the compatibility mode, right click over here, go to show more option, Go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7 which is the first one, go for apply and go for ok. And if it's still, if it's after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try one more step that is running the game as an administrator. So right click over here, go to the show more option, go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok. And once you set this up. Once everything has been set, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we have to make sure that the uh, date, time and region is correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search, navigate to settings. From here, we have to navigate to time and language. Go for date and time first. Make sure the time zone, time automatically and all these three things that is time zone automatically time and show the date and time all these three things should be turned on and also we have to go back go to the language and region from here we have to make sure that the region has to be selected correctly for example if you're from united states you have to select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom and if you're for any other countries you have to select the respective one now this is what we have to do and once you set this up we just to just close everything and afterwards just go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab. So just click on the play button, just launch the game. The moment you are clicking on the play button, you have to press Alt and Tab. Hello. Okay, okay. And once we launch the game, what we need to do is we just need to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to delete the saved game file. For this we just need to go over here in the file explorer. We just need to navigate to the documents. Now from here as you can see there are a lot of files. In the same way you will be able to find the uh, files for the Nightingale and if you find the folder for the file for the Nightingale just delete it. And when you delete it, you have to keep in mind, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game, but that is fine. It worth a lot for many users when they did this, it did to work it for them. They have to start from the scratch, but even though it worked for them and you can try this out as well. 
next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step that is all about we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search go for a uh, control panel now navigate to the system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall keep scrolling down and navigate to n so keep on scrolling down and you will be able to find n over here so just find n so the nightingale the game is already added make sure the private and public both has to be marked which is very important and once you set this up we have to move to the next step that imagine the game is not here if the imagine the game is not here if that is the case we have to add the game for this we just need to click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse now go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here navigate to the nightingale now we will be having the folder of nightingale select this one and select this one and go for open and we have to go for add i'm getting the error because the game is already added so if the game is already added it is fine with it or else once afterwards just close everything go back and try launch the game once again next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of devices for example you might be connected with multiple monitors joysticks and all these one of the reason why we are having crashing sometime so just unplug everything once everything is unplugged all the external devices should be unplugged and you have to launch the game and once you are in the game you are fine with it just connect it back and try and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay if it is enabled so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties make sure this is a disable if it is enabled we have to disable this and we have to launch the game next one we have to go for the launch option the first one is we have to go for the dx11 that is dx11 should be done if dx11 is not working we have to try with dx12 so either the launch option either the dx11 or dx12 will be working fine because this particular step did work in, or helped many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the system configuration navigate to the services go for disable all hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they going to ask you for restart so you just need to go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting so go for exit without restart after the restart is done try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click go to task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having or ending up in crashing issue and we keep on having issues with all these things so we just need to un uh, remove unwanted things for example revert tuner msa afterburner etc and these should be removed and we have to right click over here and go for end the task and remove the unwanted things from here and once everything is successfully removed you just need to go back and try launching the game still if the issue is there we can try going for the next one that we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here now we have to go to a uh, graphic settings search for the graphic settings now as you can see i have already added many games in the same way we have to add the game just go over here and click on the browse now navigate to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we have to navigate to nightingale the game select this one and we have to add it so it is added just click on the option now by default this would be let windows decide we need to change this to high performance and we have to set this one nvidia geforce rtx 2080 with max q design set this to save and once afterward just close this go back and try launch in the game next one is all about nothing but we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card just go over here in the search now we have to the run the game dedicated graphics card is already discussed we have to move to the next one we have to increase the virtual memory search for view advanced system settings in the search you will be getting this option navigate to the advanced go for settings once again advanced once again and we have to go for change now make sure this is blank and select the local disk c go for the custom size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size 3 times the total ram 
so just go over here search for the calculator we need the calculator so just search for it now type the ram so 32 gb is my ram so i have to type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 which is a constant value that brings you 32768 now multiply it with 1.5 so that brings you 49152 so copy this value and we have to paste it move to the maximum size type 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 copy this and we have to paste it once you set the value over here everything should be set and once everything is just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here in the search go for settings over here go to the windows update over here now from here we just need to update the windows so in the sense if you're having any cumulative updates and all those things just make sure it is all up to date and once everything is up to date just close everything like as you can see it is up to date once everything has been done just close this and go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to the nvidia as well as to the amd so you need to go to the first link for the nvidia users now from here we have to select what is your details like the product type should be selected and the product series should be selected if around 14 series you have to select it and go for nvidia should be selected now set windows 11 go for everything and go for start search now from here what we need to do is we just need to go over here and you have to download the driver version 551.52 which is released on february 13 2024 so this is the latest version should be downloading so let me download this and go for uh, download now so as you can see it is getting downloaded so just click on this one so once it's successfully downloaded i'll be showing you what you need to do so it is around 634 mb so it is going to take a little bit of time so afterwards i'll be showing you what you need to do So once the file is successfully done, just need to launch it, which means just open the file. So I'll be showing you this. Just go over here, go to this PC, go to the downloads. So just open this. So we need to install this. So uh, this has the same process has to be done for the uh, AMD as well. Once you download the respective file, we just need to uh, download it and we just need to install it as well. So uh, I'm going to skip this because it's going to take a little bit of time. So you just need to install this and afterwards do a restart, then go back and try launch the game and it will be up to date. Next one is all about nothing but uh, we got this. So it's going to ask you some questions like this. So we just wanted to install it. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So let me skip this because it's going to take a little bit of time. So just go for agree and continue. And I'll be showing you what you have to do because this is quite simple. You have to do the same for the AMD Pro, AMD as well. Just go over here, select the graphics, select every details over here and go for submit. Now from here, if you're on Windows 11, download this one. If you're on Windows 10, download this one. If you're on Windows 11, just click on this one. 
and the file is around 46 MP. Just download this one and install. A restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one, the latest uh, Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here. Now the system is based on x64, just over here and download this one. If the system is based on x86, we can download this one and install. A restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. So once you're done with this one and everything is successfully done, you just need to still check whether the issue is solved or not. But still, if you're having the trouble, we just need to, to try two more steps. And one among them is we have to run the game on verify. I mean, we have to try verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So the game file is around uh, 59.07 GB. So it is going to take a bit of time. So let's wait this to reach 100%. So now as you can see the 719 files are successfully validated which means we are fine with it but because sometimes you know when the files are corrupted we will be having these kind of trouble. So it is quite important that we have to make sure the files are not corrupted. So afterwards just try launch the game. Still if you are having the trouble we need to move to the next one that is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here go to the manage and uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, we should not be installing it back on local disk C. We have to try a new local disk. And these possible workarounds can be done. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.